Hello and welcome to Your Story. An Indian Federal Minister, Menaka Gandhi, has said that the government will form a committee of judges to advise it on cases of sexual assault and harassment, widely publicized as part of the hashtag MeToo movement that has swept the country. She said, and I quote, I believe in the pain and trauma behind every single complaint. Cases of sexual harassment at work must be dealt with a policy of zero tolerance, unquote. Now, she also said, and again I quote, We have formed a group of judges that will examine some of the cases in a free and independent style and advise them and us where to go from here, unquote. Now, the hashtag MeToo movement in India was sparked by allegations by actor Tanushree Datta, who accused veteran Nana Partekar of harassing her on the sets of a film 10 years ago. It set off a roaring debate on social media and a thread on Twitter became a forum for hashtag MeToo stories from various fields, sparing no one, film personalities, writers, journalists and entertainers. Looking at what the ministry has done today, the Women and Child Welfare Ministry has done today, it, it, uh, it's going to set up a committee which is going to be formed and part of uh, various retired judges who are going to look into the institutional narrative as to how these cases can be dealt with and further on assist the ministry in taking these cases forward. Now in the light of what has been happening for the recent uh, one week, uh, it, it's probably coming and stemming from that movement, the Me Too movement that has uh, sort of caught fire both on social media and otherwise as well. It's important to see though, Bhairvi, at the committee that uh, uh, Minister Menaka Gandhi is talking about who will be part of that. So we have, she talks about former retired judges, which, and, and in order to make it more balanced, neutral, many say they will have to have at least few women judges to understand the issues there. But we do not, our history, our legal history does not have so many female judges. So that could be one of the challenges. But all the more, it is a welcome move. At least the government is responding and taking into cognizance as to what the movement is all about and trying to understand and help women who are coming out with such harrowed accounts.